Yes, it's me, Market Vendor here again today, bright and early Tuesday. Now, you see me, Market Vendor, the CBC strike, I coming back to that day again. I ain't getting involved in the strike thing. As I said, if you agree to pay somebody something, then you got to pay. You can't hold back on it. So, as so far, I ain't hearing that people saying that they never agree to that. So, if you got minutes of meetings and you know the minutes are confirmed, well then you should know what you agreed to. I should know what I agreed to and we got the confirmed minutes. It's very straightforward to me. I know in my days when I was with the union, upon both sides, both management and the other side, you had minutes. How many minutes was confirmed? That was way of it by, you understand? Anyhow, the part though that catch me today was a statement attributed in another media house to the chairman of the board who said that in any event cbc would not be able to pay because cbc is broke <laughs> no oh, broke break break up you know a solvent when you say you are broke as a company if after 50 years the company is broke something is wrong with the company Something is fundamentally wrong with the structure of the organization. If the organization got a monopoly from free-to-air television, no, I said free-to-air, I didn't say anything about cable. When you got a big cable channel, when you got four radio stations, and you get a lot of support from government, something is fundamentally wrong if after 50 years, that organization can't pay its way. And if you say that you are broke, that means, in other words, Generally, if I say I am broke as a company, if, if Chris or I say I broke, that means we ain't getting the money to pay a check come up, right, Chris? Mm, yeah. Yeah, the next pay a check, you know, come up. I broke. I ain't got the money right now. But if you as a company say the company is broke, it usually means that the company is insolvent. It means that your liabilities exceed your assets. And then what you have is worth less than what you owe it mean that you really need to call it a fella called the receiver. You understand? <laughs> you need Dr. Phillips to come in, Dr. Grenville Phillips to come in, you know, and take over the matters and bring matters to a halt. Something is fundamentally wrong, people. You understand? But you see me, market vendor. Those are matters for people at a different level. I believe it's got to be inside a, a wooden cabinet. I mean, a cabinet, sorry. You understand? <laughs> To be able to <laughs> pontificate and pronounce on those matters. I mark it when the golfer now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. And by the way, I am broke and Chris is broke. But we are not broken. <laughs> mark it when the God. <laughs>